starting off, uh, we will start with Netflix. Example one, Netflix, as you can see, uh, this was a trade, uh, as you can see in the video I posted. I made $630 from a $30 contract, 2,000%. Now how? Well, uh, at 3.30, pretty sure, uh, I checked because I al because you know I always recommend checking from 9:30 to 10:30 and from 3 to 4, you know, checking uh, TC2000. And so I checked and um, I checked that Netflix broke downwards uh, the moving average of 20 and 40. And so of course I bought a put to the moving average of 200 as you can see in the strategy I always teach so from 436 to 429 I bought the put now the goal was a five point put what happened with Netflix was that I bought it here and then when I checked the next day it was already at like 404 and I immediately sold 2000% ecstatic you know, it kept going down to like 396, of course, but always, you know, 2,000%, of course, you're going to sell. And that was a strategy. That was a strategy I made 2,000%. Uh, I was going to win it anyways because I bought it from 435 to 428. Now, how does the strategy work? Why did I buy it? Well, I bought it because, first of all, the stock broke the moving average of 20 and 40 and the moving average 20 and 40 did a cross when the moving average 20 and 40 do a cross you immediately a buy a call if the stock is above or b buy a put if the stock is below in this case it broke downwards did a cross the stock was below i immediately bought a put to the moving average of 200 as i said and then that was my profit um that was the trade Simple as that. I did it from here to there. When I woke up the next day, it was already about like 404, and so I just sold it there. And that's how I made 2,000% with Netflix. That is how the strategy works. Now, um, if you want to see a call, uh, an example of a call in Netflix, I mean, a perfect situation is like right here. Netflix, they were about to cross. It doesn't matter if the 20 and 40 cross. I mean, if they do cross, it's like a 95% chance. If they don't cross, but they're close to crossing, it's like a 90% chance. Still a call, still a put. You know, you can still enter the trade. And so it was above the moving average 20 and 40. And the moment a stock is above or below the moving average 20 and 40, it will always, always, 100% of the time, look for the next moving average, the moving average 200, and then the moving average of 200, of course. So right here, you buy a call immediately from 416 to 424. It's about an eight point call. That is extremely good, that is an extremely good trade. And so after you do that, you go, and then uh, it breaks moving average of 100. Of course, you know, you buy, you buy two contracts, one to the moving average of 100, one to the moving average of 200. Then it goes from 424 to 435, an 11-point call. If you left one contract the full way there, you're supposed to, you know, to, you buy two contracts. That is an incredible profit, absolutely incredible. And that's how the trade goes. The moment you see a stock above the moving average of 20 and 40, and they're pretty close, you buy a call. If the stock is above, you buy a call to the next moving to the next moving average. Boom, boom. If the stock is below, you buy the call the put to the next moving average. Boom and boom. Now, next example. Um, it will go with Nvidia. Boom. Make sure the live stream is okay. NVIDIA, same thing happened. It was decreasing. It broke the moving average of the moving averages of 20 and 40 downwards, as you can see. And then it goes from 481 
all the way down to 457. Wow, that is a about a 30 point put. Wow. 24 point put, which is absolutely incredible. Simple as that. The moment a stock breaks a moving average of 20 and 40, if it's below, you know, if it breaks it downwards, it's going to search the next moving average. And right here, the next moving average was at the moving average of 100. Boy, did it go down. And then if you bought two contracts, you could, you know, sell one there and then sell the next one here. That is a full 30 point put if you waited to the moving average of 200. Again, absolutely incredible. Oh, let me just check if the stream is going well. If you waited to the moving average. Okay, it is going well. Okay. Now, um, as I was saying, it broke the moving average of 20 and 40, went all the way down to the moving average of 100, then 200. And as you can see, it did do a cross, which is a 95% chance. The moment the moving average of 20 and 40 cross, it is a 95% chance it is exploding upwards. But if it's close, like here, and it didn't cross, still 90%, still incredible. Now, um, that's about 30 points. Absolutely incredible. Uh, I mean, it, we can see like a call here. Um, breaks the moving average. See, about right here, I wouldn't operate. I wouldn't operate here because as you can see, it crossed, right? It broke the moving averages downwards, moving average of 20 and 40. But then there's nothing, there's like nowhere to go. Like there's no moving average below here. There's no moving average of 20, there's no moving average of 200 or 100. There's just no moving average. So like I just wouldn't operate this. Now when it goes up and it breaks moving average 20 and 40 upwards, this is where I operate. Like right here, a juicy call from 436 to 448. That's a 12 point call. That is an incredible, like this is incredible profits right there. Especially with Nvidia, you know, stock so volatile. And then, I mean, of course, the best trade is from right here to right here. Absolutely incredible. The next stock we will be checking Tesla. Bum, bum, bum. You guys are enjoying your day. I'm learning. Tesla. Okay, what can we check of Tesla? Mm. Well, see right here, the moving average of 20 and 40. I mean, this is for next week, right here, right? So the moving average 20 and 40 look like they're about to meet. And then if Tesla breaks the moving average of 20 and 40 next week downwards as they meet, that is a gigantic point. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm definitely getting in there. Of course, the moving average of 40 has to go all the way up, cross with the moving average of 20, so it has to break it downwards, and then if it breaks it downwards, we're looking at a 30 point put, which is absolutely incredible. You know. Netflix reminiscent. Um, yeah, Tesla did not have a lot of moves this week. You know, uh, a lot of this strategy, a lot of people will tell you, oh, this strategy is like daily, blah, blah, blah. It's not daily. Uh, sometimes it's like a move a week, maybe two moves a week, three moves a week. It's not daily at all. And as it should be, because sometimes the stock, like the stock market just does not move. Like sometimes the Fed is talking. And the stock market just does not move for like two to three days. And anybody that operates while the stock market is not moving is losing because it's just, I mean, who the heck is getting money here? Like there's like no analysis. It breaks upwards, it breaks downwards, blah, blah, blah. There's no analysis here. Um, yeah, there's like just choppy, nothing. But there is one thing. There is one thing. I just checked it right here. This is why you got to analyze a little bit better. And, you know, uh, once you're more experienced, you like, you'll find out like three minutes how to analyze a stock. It took me like a minute because Tesla was a little wonky here. But as you can see, Tesla breaks the moving average of 20 and 40 upwards. 
and it crosses. As you can see, the moving average 20 and 40 cross and Tesla breaks them upward. Now, right here, you buy a call. Right here, you buy a call. Most definitely buy a call. But then, as you can see, it just like goes a little bit downwards. Now, you may be thinking, damn, the strategy sucks. So, it went downwards. Oh, <laughs> it took one. Okay, it started at 23, right? 23, 24. Okay. Okay, 20, okay, wait, wait, okay, so one, so okay, so let's say you bought it here, right, and then it took one day, two days, 28 is like a whole three days, four days, four days, wow. So this was, this happened like Wednesday, if you bought Tesla for next week, in four days, it went from 237 to 253 because it broke the moving average of 20 and 40, and then it went all the way up to the moving average of 100 in three days, and in four days, wow, almost reached moving average 200, which is like 230, what was it, 238 to 253. About what 15 points in call that is incredible for a Tesla call and bam yeah this strategy you can definitely give it one to three days if it happens on a Monday if it happens on a Wednesday Thursday just buy for next week just, you know just buy for next week because you know it might take four days usually it takes way less like right here it took a lot of time like this is abnormal this is an abnormal time but it did reach a lot. Like, it did go up. So, like, if you bought it for next week right here, you know, oh, my gosh, you went through, like, you know, bad times. But it ended up paying well. Absolutely well. The, the moment a stock goes up 15 points, you're getting paid. It doesn't matter how much time you had to wait. Now, moving on from Tesla. Tesla was a little tricky here. Uh, personally, I wouldn't have operated Tesla. I'm definitely going to operate this, though. When the moving average of 40 goes up and then it crosses the moving average of 20, then Tesla breaks downwards all the way down to, like, 246. I'm definitely operating that. Definitely. But if you operated this, you're still, like, this is a lot of profit in four days. Bam. Right there. 253. Again, that is an abnormal period. And, you know, we check every stock. Like, any other person, we just, like, choose your stocks and uh choose the stocks that like best moved with the strategy no we're checking every stock and we're checking the strategy with every stock and the strategy i didn't create it of course uh you know whoever created bollinger bands whoever created moving averages they created the strategy i'm just very good at learning and i learned it very well nvidia and i'm teaching nvidia Oh, this is an incredible stock for the strategy. I mean, personally, the best stocks for it, specifically the moving averages, because we use two strategies in this channel, moving averages and Bollinger Bands. This is Bollinger Bands. The best stocks for moving averages are NVIDIA and Netflix. They are incredible, absolutely incredible, because the amount of volatility, the amount of points they drop, and the amount of money they give, is absolutely incredible. NVIDIA and Netflix, absolutely incredible. These are talks you should be checking daily for moving averages. Now, as you can see, I mean, if you, you know, listen, like, you can analyze this by yourself. Broke the moving average of 20 and 40 downwards. And what do you do? You buy a put from 42 all the way to moving average of 100, then moving average of 200. Bam, right there. That is about a, what? 481 to 457 what 15 15 points 14 points <sighs> absolutely incredible put right here you buy two absolutely incredible for 52 video looking amazing strategy works every time i mean it does work every time right here is a 95 percent because of the cross works every time tesla bam again you know, 
works every time with Tesla, with Tesla especially too. It did work. Did it take some time with Tesla? Because, you know, maybe like some bad days happened, some news happened. Yeah, but in four days, did it go to the analysis? Of course it did. Five days reached the moving average of 200. You know, your contract should always have a minimum of four days. So, for example, if you buy it Tuesday, buy it for the same week. It's perfect. If you buy it Wednesday, your contract, you can buy it for the same week, but always have a contract for next week. Always give it four days minimum. And usually it takes about one to two days, but you know, just in case a situation like Tesla happens again, four days minimum is absolutely perfect. Next stock we're gonna check is SPY. Okay, SPY. SPY is a very tricky stock, by the way. If you are a beginner, just stay away a little bit from SPY for now. Because SPY does give a lot of profits, but it is also a little bit tricky. But not here. Absolutely incredible. I mean, as you can see, here it broke downwards and moving around for 20 and 40 cross. But then again, I don't trade this. I don't recommend anybody to trade this because there's no moving average below. There's a moving average 200 or 100 below. So you don't know where the stock is going to go. Like, of course, it breaks a moving average of 100 and, and four. It makes a moving average of 20 and 40. It's going to go down, right? Like, you can buy a put, but you don't know where because there's no moving average of 100 to 200 to guide you. So this is why I don't operate this. But after the cross, you see, the cross makes it very legitimate. It breaks a moving average of 20 and 40 spy upwards, and guess where it goes? Right here from 440 to 444, moving average of 100. You know, you buy two contracts, of course, always. Then it goes all the way up to 449. Nine point call in SPY. Absolutely incredible, especially because it's SPY. And SPY, if you know, pays extremely well. I mean, for three points, SPY is giving you like $300, depending on your contract. For nine points, you're talking about $2,000 in a SPY. Like SPY is like one of the most volatile stocks in the stock market, one of the most traded stocks in the stock market. And so when it goes up a lot of points and you're in it, especially in the money, you're bagging. Okay, so um, you see this move is extremely easy. Uh, you know the strategy, you're gonna do perfect with it. Okay, stream is going well. Then about right here, I mean, I wouldn't really operate because the moving averages are so close together. Like right here, absolutely incredible opportunity. Like absolutely incredible. I'm operating this every single day. But right here, the moving are so like together. There's not a lot you can do. Like I wouldn't recommend trading right here. Like yeah, it breaks the moving average of 20 and 40 with a cross. It's going to go from 47 to 448. That's amazing, but. They're so condensed, it's like not worth it. Next stock, IWM. N I W M. Okay, let's see. I mean, we're analyzing this live, by the way. Like, <laughs> as you can see, I'm analyzing it with you. I'm not like, okay, I already analyzed these stocks beforehand. No, I'm analyzing these with you. That's why I'm taking like about 30 seconds, 15 seconds to analyze it and what happened with it. And I'm giving you some moves. Like, I already told you what's going to happen with Tesla. Like, if Tesla, I mean, like, let me just bring that up again. It's moving average of 40 goes up and then meets the, the, the moving average of 20. They cross, Tesla breaks downwards. I am buying a put all the way to 248. So, you know, stay for the live stream. You're getting, you're getting some moves. You're getting some moves. I, uh, we were at IWM. Okay, so with IWM, I mean, pretty simple. It breaks the moving average of 20 and 40. They do a cross here. It breaks it upwards. So, of course, you're going to go to the moving average of 100 from right here, 185 to 188. Oof. Ah, incredible. Then, uh, you know, you buy two contracts, of course. Uh, and then it goes 192. Wow. So, from 185 to 192, that is about seven, seven points. You're bagging. <laughs> You're bagging. Absolutely incredible. 
to yeah that's how the strategy works and then right here it breaks it like downwards the moving average of 20 and 40 they do a cross so you of course buy a put the moment they do a cross and they breaks it you buy a put but like it's 186 see it goes downwards right it goes down of course it goes down it goes down from 186 to 183 but I, again i wouldn't operate why why wouldn't i operate this like, like this situation of course i would operate this this situation i wouldn't operate why again because there's a moving average of 200 there's a moving average of 100 it's unsafe like you don't know if it's gonna go here and then go up it's gonna if it's gonna go here and then go up it's gonna go here and then go up if it's gonna go yeah you don't know so uncertainty not good um amd with amd okay let's analyze it together right here mm, okay right here breaks moving average of 20 and 40 downwards hello 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 yep breaks moving average of 20 and 40 okay yeah the live stream is going well breaks moving average 20 and 40 downwards it goes from 107 to 106 that's a it's a pretty mid put pretty mid level put um but then it keeps going downwards to like 103 I mean you can here I recommend cuz some people are going to trade this right like they're going to trade like again I would sell just right here because there's no moving average below but some people are going to trade further so I would just recommend like getting your 100% cuz it's going to keep going down you just don't know where. So you just get your 100% in the dip. So that's what happened with the AMD. Um, absolutely incredible put right here. Like you see, it breaks a moving average of 20 and 40. There's a moving average of 100 and 200 in here. So you don't know where it's going to go down. But again, you just wait for that 100%. You're out of there. I mean, this is like, whoa. This is not 100%. 107 to 100, that's 1,000%. So let's say, like you say, 100% that I'm out, no moving average. Bam. Made it profit for the day. Gonna all right, let's check Roku. I haven't checked the stock in a long time. Wow. Okay. Wow. It uh, works well. Okay. So with Roku, breaks moving average twenty and forty downwards. They do a cross, and moving average of two hundred and hundred are below. Thank God. So bam. Right there, you buy a put from 83.88 to 80. Three point put in Roku, that is very that is very good. Especially in a stock like Roku. Yeah. Yeah, very, very good. And bam, you make your profit from from eighty-four dollars to about what eighty dollars? Four oh, it's a four point put. Very good for Roku. For a stock like Roku, absolutely incredible. If you're operating that. And um I mean, right here, they do a, cr wow, that is a triple cross, 20, 40, and 200 cross, and the stock breaks it upwards, so it's like 100% going to go to uh, the moving average of 100, which is from 78.31 to 81. Again, it's like three points, four points, but a stock like Roku, four points is a lot, and you know, you buy your three contracts, you buy four contracts with a good strategy, like right here, this is 100%. Because 20 and 40 cross is 95% chance it's going to go up to the next moving average. 20, 40, and 200 cross, like, it's certain, certain that it's going to go to the next moving average. You buy five contracts here, bam, you're in it. A, B, and B. By the way, stream's going to go for a long, for some time. And we're analyzing this together. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you my thought process. So first, I always check uh, where the moving average of 20 and 40 are if they're crossing. Then where the moving average, oh, 200 and 100. Oh, wow. Are located. Wow, wow, wow. This is going to be the first trade live for this channel. People. A, B, and B. Broke the moving average of 20 and 40 downwards. And the moving average 20 and 40 crossed. 
it is a 95% chance Airbnb is going to go to 137.75. About a five-point put. It breaks that, it's going to go to 134, eight-point put. So, you know, you buy two contracts, sell one here, sell one here. Wow. This is the first live move in this channel. There's many more to come. If you follow the strategy, well, no, you are following the strategy. If you learn this strategy, you will now operate. Wow. Gee, this is why you got to check from three to four because this happened right before the stock market closed. So on Monday or Tuesday, this stock is going to be on, at the moving average of 200 or 100, about a 5.6 point put. Wow. Absolutely incredible. We don't even, I mean, I mean, let's just see this. Broke the moving average of 20 and 40 upwards, hits across. And then goes all the way to moving average of 100, 131. Okay, so 136 to 131, five points. Then it goes all the way to moving average of 200. Wow, 126 to 140. That is about, what, 14 points in call? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And we have a live trade right here. So, yeah, um, people who are watching the stream, congratulations. You just got yourself a five-point put. Bam, a five-point put just for watching the stream. Let's make your money. It's because it's going to reach the moving average of 200, and then might reach the moving average of 100, but it's definitely moving. It's definitely reaching one of them. So, it's a, so 142 to 137, five-point put in A, B, and B. Congratulations, guys. You just got yourself a first trade using this strategy. Absolutely incredible. Um, coin. Let's see coin. How much? Let me just check the live stream real quick. How much time? We've been. Yep. Okay, we've been speeding for some good time. Okay, so let's check coin. Um. What a call, what a call, what a call, what a call. Coin broke the moving average of 20 and 40 upwards. The moving average of 20 and 40 cross, as you can see. And then coin goes from $75 all the way to $82 in one candlestick. <laughs> one candlestick. That is uh, 75 to 82 Seven points in call and one candlestick. By the way, for the people that are, you know, beginners and day traders, one candlestick is absolutely massive. It is a thousand percent more profitable for a stock to move five points this way than this way. Why? Because it takes some time. Uh, you know, it takes some time, blah, 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 up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, there's, a, there's a thing called a theta. There's a Greek letter called a theta in contracts, which the more time a contract takes to move, uh, the more money it takes away. So when a stock does this, just one candlestick, seven points. That's a thousand dollars in a good contract, straight up. A thousand dollars in a good contract. Heck, six dollar contract, bam, you're in, you're in. That's in the money. Six dollar contract from that with Coin, you're in the money. Minimum six hundred dollars, right there and there, right then and there. Absolutely incredible. Which is moving average of a hundred. Now, some people are waiting for the moving average of two hundred, but again, I always say in this channel, two contracts. You sell one here. And you leave the other, like to the moving average of sixty of two hundred. All right, it didn't reach moving average to two hundred because sometimes if it's like two, like, I mean, like, look at this, it's like eighty six moving average is like ninety or something. If it's too big, it's probably not going to reach, right? But you're still bagging because okay, one contract didn't reach that, but the other contract made you a thousand dollars. This probably cost sixty. I mean, 
1,000 minus 60, that is a 940 profit. Strategy's looking amazing, you know what I mean? <sighs> now, moving average up 20, 40 cross, uh, the stock breaks upwards. So of course it has to reach the moving average of 200 and it goes like, it almost reaches, like, as you can see, it goes like to 80, it's at 88. It's like, uh, it reaches $87. You know, you buy two contracts. You sell one at like a hundred percent, but there's just one moving average. Bam! That is absolutely incredible. And it's gonna reach the moving average two hundred. This is the moving average of two hundred is like going downwards, so it's probably gonna like go to like eighty four, and then it's gonna meet up there because they're about to cross. We're average twenty and forty are about to cross again. It's gonna break it upwards. Yeah, it's gonna move. It's gonna reach a moving average of uh, two hundred. Yeah, wow, coin absolutely incredible. Um, next stock, Apple. We got like one, two, three, four, five, six. We got like six more examples in moving average, and then we're going to go to Bollinger Bands and 15 examples of Bollinger Bands, and then uh, we're going to call it a night. Apple. Apple breaks the moving average of 20 and 40 downwards and they do a cross that is a 95 percent chance they're going to reach the next moving average and it goes from 184 to 179 that is a five point put wow 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 wow, wow. absolutely incredible especially for apple like a stock bro a stock like apple moves two points and you're already like making a lot of profit five points you're bagging because you're, you're probably in the money it's a stock so cheap this is the thing with apple it's a stock so cheap that when it moves five points you're like almost certainly like two points in the money and when you're in the money it's a minimum like three hundred dollars that you're getting and if like the contract is like it's like three days more you know you have, you have like three more days and you're in the money it's probably five hundred dollars that is incredible. And I'm talking cheap contracts, like thirty to sixty dollars. Like if you buy a lot of contracts at thirty to sixty dollars, probably like, you know, some people buy like five to six minimum. I mean, multiply five times three hundred, one thousand five hundred. Five times uh six I don't know, six times three hundred, one thousand eight hundred dollars. Incredible week. I mean you're not getting that in any job in one day. I mean, you can, of course, depending on your job. But, again, the bigger the capital, the more contracts you can buy. And the more, I mean, traders with this strategy, the person I learned it from, gets like about minimum 10K a day. With his uh, good gains in a week being 50K. Now, uh... Breaks moving average of 20 and 40 upwards. Apple breaks moving average of 20 and 40 upwards. Reaches the moving average of 100. Breaks it right here. Breaks it. That's why you buy two contracts. Goes from 178 to 179. Breaks it. And then it goes all the way up to 200. That is a 178 to 188. That is a 10 point call in Apple. Guys, I just told you. Apple is one of those stocks where it's extremely cheap. Like two points out the money, that stock is costing like 60 bucks, like a contract, right? So let's say 60 bucks. Let's say you just buy one for 60 bucks, right? It goes to 10 points. It goes up uh, to, to 10 points. You're in the money by like eight points, right? You're in the money by eight points. That is about $1,500. About what, minimum $1,000 in that contract. If you're in the money, eight points in Apple. And you have like two days remaining. Pfft, come on. If it's like for next week, come on. $1,000 minimum if it's eight points in the money, Apple. Now, let's say for that $60 contract, you bought like three. Three times 60, 180. It's not a lot. 
$180, three times $1,000, $3,000. How, how, how long did it take? Let's see right now. How long did it take? Breaks moving average of 20 to 40, uh, 179 to 188. Started off at 828. Okay, so 29, one day, you know, reaches there, the moving average of 100. Hold up. Did it do it in one day? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Ooh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. It reached like 187.42, nearly 188 in one, in, no, no, not in one day. 28 to 30. Two days. In two days, Apple went up 10 points with this strategy. Again, Tesla's an anomaly. Four days is a lot. Like, you know, it's going to reach the moving average, the moving averages. Like, strategy is going to work, right? But Tesla being four days is an anomaly. This did it in two days, 10 points, absolutely incredible. And let's say uh, you got, like, you know, got a little bit antsy. Broke the moving average of 20 and 40, and it goes, uh, uh, you bought it from here, 177 to 181. That's 100%, by the way. Like, 177 to 181 is like about four points. Bragging already. But let's say you were waiting for the moving average of 100 and 200. You're like, oh, come on, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so 823, uh, it took to like 830. Okay, so 823, 824, 825, 828. Oh, by the way, this is probably like a Friday. Yeah, this is definitely, yeah, Friday, Monday. Okay, so let's see how many trading days it took, right? Okay, so uh, one, two. Plus two, four days. Yep, strategy, yep. As I said, always buy a contract like minimum four days. So uh, this happened Wednesday. Yeah, no, if if the move happens on Wednesday, you just buy for next week. Just buy for next week, trust, buy for next week. And um, once you buy for next week, that contract, like it does not matter. If you bought it for next week, Week, it does not matter that the stock went down from 181 to, to 176, about like five points. It does not matter because it went all the way up to 188, and no contract is staying negative once it goes up to 188. And you know what you can do? When the stock is the here again, when the stock is here again, guess what you do? You buy another contract, even it out. So, for example, right? Let's say you have a contract. This is, you know, this is a video for the beginner, so I'll explain this. If you have a contract, if you bought a ten, if you bought a twenty dollar contract, right, and it is negative fifty percent, so it's negative ten dollars. If you buy the same contract uh, again at the same price, right, twenty dollars, the contract is going to uh, is going to even out your losses. And so your losses will go from like a 50% to a 25%. So instead of your losses being $10, uh, it's going to cut. Like uh, this is called, um, people call this like evening it out. There's other terms for this, but there's like evening, evening, evening it out. And so like when you're negative, on a contract, but you know the analysis is gonna go like you know in four days, like right here. Oh my gosh, it goes down, but you know in four days this this stock is going up. This stock is going up, right? It's going to go up all the way up here, and it's like a lot of potential. So you you know buy another contract, right? The moment you buy another contract, let's say you buy like two more, it's pretty cheap right now. So you buy like you know pr maybe it was expensive here, right here it's cheap. You buy like two more contracts, you double down on it. Triple down on it, profits are incredible. Absolutely incredible. Now, uh, how many stocks do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got like five stocks here. All right, let's, let's, let's hurry it up. Um, broken moving from 20 to 40, 
the moment it, it breaks moving average 20 40 upwards which is a moving average like there's a moving average above just buy it like for a hundred percent and bam a hundred percent you know make a profit that way there's not a lot of moves here oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. never mind never mind never mind never mind this is absolutely incredible guys look and ladies look Amazon broke the moving average jizz of 20 and 40 downwards 138 and then it goes all the way down of the moving average of a hundred and two hundred goes from 138.65 to 133.71 that is five points and you of course buy two contracts so you sell one here at a hundred then you buy then uh the other one when it reaches 200 and it goes from 138, about 139, to 132. That's about seven points in put in Amazon. A stock like Amazon, guys, again, a stock like Amazon is extremely cheap. So two points out the money, that stock is costing like $60, $50. So you buy that contract, $50, and it goes down nine points, or it moves nine points, you're in the money by like seven. You're in the money by seven, you're making about minimum Six hundred to a thousand dollars in that contract, depending on the volatility and everything. That is absolutely incredible. And if you bought three contracts, again, a thousand times three, three thousand dollars. Absolutely incredible. Okay, um, speeding this up. Let's go to Google. Oh, by the way, by the way, ooh, live trade, live trade, boys, live trade, and ladies, live trade. Amazon broke the moving averages of 20 and 40 downwards, and they're about to cross, as you can see. Downwards. The moment they cross, you know, wait for them to cross, of course. You know, just wait till Monday until they cross. The moment these cross and Amazon is below them, 140 to 136, four points. 140 to 134, six points. Come on now. That is a live trade. I've given you two live trades as live stream. So if you've been paying attention, if you've been like listening to the live stream, you got two trades that can potentially give you like a thousand percent, depending on how many contracts you buy and what is your strike price. I gave you ABNB put from oh we're gonna check it right now. I gave you ABNB put from one forty from one forty two to one thirty seven, about a five point put. You know, you buy two contracts, of course. You know, 142 to 134, that is about eight points. Eight point put, you know, in A, B, and B. Live, this is live. On Monday, you buy these puts, especially if, like, the stock is still, like, below the moving average of 20 and 40, and they already crossed an A, B, and B. You buy these puts on Monday, and you make your money for the same week because uh, Monday, you already have, like, if it's Monday or Tuesday, you buy for the same week. Wednesday, you buy for next week. And what were we checking? Amazon. Yes, Amazon. And we were checking Amazon. And so Amazon, same situation. On Monday, if these two cross, we're average 20 and 40, and the stock is below them, you buy a put from 140 to 135. That is a big five-point put. Absolutely incredible in Amazon. And you're buying, you're getting, you know, you're gonna buy close, so you get, you're definitely gonna be in the money. You know what I mean? Like you spend sixty dollars on everything, you're gonna, you're gonna be in the money. Okay. Uh, Google. Guys, this live stream is getting pretty long, and it's pretty late, so. We might do a part two of this live stream. And uh, we're going to do ball on your bands on the next live stream. This live stream solely moving averages. I mean, but again, I've given you two live trades. I've you know, given you 15 examples. I mean, I'm going to give you 15 examples. We have like three more. So uh, Google. Google broke the moving average of 20, 40, and the moving average of 100 upward. So, of course, you buy that 100%. Bam, you get that. Uh, and they cross. So um, when Google, 
All right, let's see what we can do here. Um, boom. Not a lot to do with Google. Not a lot at all. Da, da, da. All right, moving on to the next stock. There's not a lot to do with Google. Yeah, I mean, you make your 100%, of course. You know, every time it breaks like the moving average of 100 and uh, of 20 and 40, and it crosses, and it crosses, you just make your 100%. You see what I mean? And I mean, if you wanted, you could like leave it for more, but there's like no moving average above, so I just wouldn't do it personally. You just get your 100% and you're out. Dun. Okay, three more. Baba. Baba um, broke. By the way, guys, we're we're analyzing this live. That's why I've said it like three times, but we're analyzing this live. That's why it takes like 20 seconds for me to analyze it. And again, my thought process always check for the moving average 2040, where they cross, where the moving averages are of 100 and 200 are located, and that's my thought process. Now, Baba breaks moving average of 20, 40, and 100. That is a I mean, if the moving average, of, of, if breaking the moving average of 20 and 40 as they cross is like a 95%, I mean, breaking moving average, breaking three moving averages as they cross is like a 98% chance. I'm making, I'm making 98% up, but I mean, it's got to be higher than 95%. Okay, so Baba breaks the moving average of 20, 40, and 100 so 100 percent just go into that foot just go into that foot right and then it goes from 96 to 90 dollars which is the moving average of 200 that is about six points in baba a stock like baba is mid-level cheap mid-level cheap and so you're definitely in the money maybe like by one point you're in the money so yeah that's like 600 dollars. absolutely incredible baba I mean, we're not going to check further because right here it's like pretty condensed. But if you can see, breaks the moving average of blah, 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 of 20. It breaks the moving average of 200. Uh, it breaks the moving average of like 20 and uh, 200, like right here downwards. And so you just buy a put from like 194 to 91. But again, it's pretty condensed. So I just don't operate this. I do operate this. So this is incredible. <sighs> two more, two more. Meta. Meta. Breaks the moving average of 20, 40 upwards as they cross. I mean, 100% going into a call like this. this is a 95% chance. And it goes from 289 to 298. 10 points. Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. 8 points. And then it goes all the way to moving average of 200. Well, let's do some math. 290, 304, 14 points. 14 points in call. Absolutely incredible. And so, yeah, Meta, you know, you buy your call, like, from right here to right here. You know, you buy two always. Reaches the moving average of 100, then move, reaches the moving average of 200. Absolutely incredible. Two contracts. They both got fulfilled. So you made a lot of money with Meta if you operated this. Well, now you're going to operate this. And, yeah, absolutely incredible. And uh, as you can see, live trade, live trade. Breaks the moving average of 20 and 40. This, uh, this noon breaks the moving average of 20 and 40. And the moving average of 200, so it's like a 95% chance it's going to reach the moving average of 100. So, yeah, watch this. 299 to 296, 295.51, so about a, about a five point, about a five point put. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. With Mets especially. Again, cheap cons. Uh... Again, the expensive cons are Netflix and NVIDIA. Like, for example, you wouldn't do a trade in Netflix and NVIDIA for three points because they're just, like, they cost more. They're not expensive because, you know, nothing expensive. You have the money, but they do cost more. 
Microsoft. The last stock we're going to check for this live stream. If you've been checking, we already gave you three live trades. You know, we gave you A, B, and B from 142 to 137, a five point put live. You can buy it on Monday. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, what was it? Amazon? Yes, Amazon. If uh, on Monday, uh, the mirror of the 2040 cross and Amazon is still below them, a five point put live, live, and then Microsoft. No, we didn't get Microsoft. What? Meta, you know, live right here. And they're about to cross. Mirror of the 2040 about to cross. Live from 299 to 295 on Monday. Live. Now, Microsoft, let's check it out. Microsoft <sighs> breaks the moving average of 20 and 40 downwards. They cross right here. So, of course, you buy that big put. You buy that big put from like 345 to. Whoa, 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 whoa. 345 to 335. That is, that is an incredible 10 point put. Because you know you always buy from first to the moving average of 100, and you you know you buy two two contracts minimum, and then it reaches the moving average 200. That is about 10 points, absolutely incredible profits made from that. And then it breaks moving average of 20 and 40 upwards. Breaks moving average of 20 and 40 upwards. Uh, breaks moving average of 102 upwards. Okay, so 95% chance if the moving average of 20 and 40 cross and the stock breaks them upwards or downwards. 95% chance to reach the next moving average, right? Now, when it breaks three moving averages, that's like, just go in. It's 100% certain. And so, yeah, it breaks moving average of 20, 40, and 100. Three moving averages. You buy that call from 3.23 to 3.33. That is about a 10-point call to the moving average of 200. Wow. That is about a 10-point call. Absolutely incredible. I, mean, I hope you guys have enjoyed this live stream. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And you found it informative. You learned a lot. Um, part two of this live stream, we will be teaching Bollinger Bands. You know, of course, we uh, we just checked 15 stocks, four moving averages. I don't think we can uh, check 15 stocks of Bollinger Bands. Nah, we can't today. Um, took us an hour to check 15 stocks for moving averages. All right, so next live stream, we will be checking this. We will be learning, I will be giving 15 examples on how to learn this Bollinger Bands, how to use them. As you can see, they are very useful. So, I mean, if you combine moving averages, bam, with Bollinger Bands, bam, you're absolutely incredible. You're, you're cracked. And if one day moving, uh, moving averages is not working, like, for example, Google is pretty wonky. Because um, it didn't, um, you know, as you can see, Google is pretty wonky with moving averages. Because there was no moving average above them, like above, like, you know, it broke the moving average of 20, 40 upwards. No, it broke the moving average of 20, 40 and 100 upwards. But th but the moving average of 200 is below. So, like, you, you didn't know where Google was going. Right. But with Bollinger Bands, you could find out. I mean, one example right here. One example. Before, uh, um, before sleep. All right. So with Bollinger Bands, I'm going to give you a short example. With Bollinger Bands, I will explain it in the other live stream. Um, it broke the Bollinger Band right here at 133. And uh, when a stock breaks the Bollinger Band, uh, you go from, well, no, no, no. It goes up for minimum one to three days. And so, I mean, you can see it like right here. Um, it goes from 133 to 137. And when does it start? All right, let's see. 
because it needs to be like the next okay so 8 30 8 31 okay so one day then two day then three days then four days five days Whoa, 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 whoa. I reached 137 here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's recount this. Let's recount this. Okay, so it starts here. One day, two day. Bam, two days. Wow. Two days. 134 to 137. Wow. Three points. Wow. Two days. Yeah, that's the power of Bollinger Bands. I'll explain it uh, on the next live stream. This is just an example. I haven't explained what Bollinger Bands is, so don't worry if you don't understand it. I explained moving averages, though, so you should know this. And so, um, explain Bollinger Bands next live stream. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you did. And um, thank you for everything. Um, and just before... Uh, we have like three minutes until an hour reaches. You know, I want this live stream to reach an hour. You know, a uh, quick overview of the stocks that we said we're going to go up. Oh, well, uh, that we're going to move and we could operate. We said A, B, and B. A, B, and B on Monday. If it wakes up, let's just say it wakes up. <laughs> if it wakes up. And it's at 142 below the moving average of 100 uh, of 20 to 40. It's gonna go down. It's gonna go down 100. percent So uh, it's already a 95 percent chance. It's gonna go down to five points. Five point put, absolutely incredible. And again, Airbnb, uh, it's pretty cheap. I mean, I think we can check the contracts like right now. Um, let's see the contracts. Uh, Let's see the contracts of A, B, and B. Of course, the stock market is closed right now, so it's not going to give us like what the contracts are going to call them, uh, what they're going to cost on Monday. But they are going to tell us what they costed today. Okay, so for next week, how much did they cost? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, pretty heavy, pretty heavy cons right here. Okay, uh, we said it was going to go down to one thirty-seven. So about five points. Um, one thirty-seven strike costs seventy-eight dollars. So if you want to go like one step above one thirty-six, uh, th sixty-three dollars. It's pretty good. Sixty-three dollars for that put. It's pretty good. Um, it costs sixty-three dollars. So when it goes down, I assume this contract is going to cost about three hundred. So from sixty-three dollars to three hundred dollars, it's pretty good. Especially if you buy uh, two. Uh, let's just check the contract for Amazon. Two minutes. Uh, one minute and 30 seconds. Um, again, you have to wait on Monday for these two to at least get a little bit closer. Like 20 and 40 need to get a little bit closer. You know, possibly cross. The moment they cross, it's like a 95% chance. But if they get close, it's a 90% chance. It's pretty good. And Amazon has to stay below. If Amazon, if these two things happen... These two get close, and Amazon stays below them. 100% Amazon's going to go to 136, about four points. Let's see these strike prices for Amazon. Again, these are not completely accurate because the um, stock market is closed. Okay, let's check next week. Wow, again, yep, Amazon's are pretty cheap. So 136 costs $51. 135 though, which is what I would buy, cost $37. And you buy two contracts, absolutely incredible. And when it reaches there, it's gonna go what, 136? It, those contracts are gonna cost like $200. So 37 to 200, that's a lot of money. Uh, that's probably what, 600%? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Especially if you buy a lot. I'd buy I'd buy I'd buy like five. That's a thousand dollars right there. All right. So this, okay, the stream just hit one hour. Thank you guys for everything. Please like uh, like, comment, subscribe, and every day we are getting better and better. Thank you for watching this and I mean you definitely got you definitely got your money's worth. You definitely got your time's worth. Three live trades and fifteen examples. Enjoy. Uh and uh keep around for part two. Thank you for everything.